Uh, right, there's this monkey, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think his name was number six or number seven or something, right? In this in this lab, right? Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's in there <laughs> with like you know the rabbits and little mice and stuff like that. And uh, the, the nurse, rabbit smoking. The nurse, right? The nurse, not well, not the nurse. The the, the woman who works in the lab. What would you call her? The nurse. Depends. What was, what turns out her job was? She was a lab assistant. You call her a lab assistant. All right. I mean, they probably call her by her name. All right, lab assistant, right? Kirsty. So, uh, so she's I think it's Ker probably Kirsty. Right, Kirsty well, Morris. Well, she's in there, right? Yeah. And she don't work with many people, and that she's mainly on her own with you know just putting lipstick on rabbits and stuff like that, right? Chimp fancy it. So uh, <coughs> chimp fancy. She's putting on lipstick. Chimp fancy. She's so got hairy yeah. legs. He gets he gets pally, right? Yeah. With with this woman yeah. because. You know, it, 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 it gets to a point when she sees him every day. <laughs> she let, <laughs> it's the way he sort of tries to string out like it's a narrative love story. Let, let's Did the, ch the chimp put its hand out and grabbed her, and then you think in that he made a move on her? So, right, he's allowed out, he's allowed out. Oh, it's not a story, is it? He's allowed it's out the cage and what have you every yeah. day, so, um, he's wandering about, and as time goes on, he's watching what she's doing more and more, yeah. right? So, he, he notices, like, the code on the door, right? <laughs> right. She, whatever, 247 or whatever. Yeah. And he goes, right, I've clocked that, I've got yeah. that, I'll remember that, right? Yeah. And Ooh. then he goes, right, there's a Definitely lot of lipstick not. and that knocking about, a lot of makeup. Right, okay. Let no, no, there's no way. Finish. No. Because, so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's right? ridiculous. And he's finish. going, well, if it's there, you know what I mean? So, so, while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there, he's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> right, right. You are a man! No! I'm not! It's bit, gone too far! No, it's gone too fast, Steve. Right, uh, Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right. the story. So, Turn mine off as well. It's gone too far! Turn him off. Just let him finish. Right, so the thing is, right, it's this monkey wandering about. It's got lipstick, it's got mascara on, it's looking pretty I good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking all right, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right, he goes, right, here's my chance. It's looking good, 247, out the door, through the reception, the reception man's there, he's like, all right, Kirsty, right? Don't talk! You know what it is now, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> right? Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't... Online, right? I didn't no. have the internet, so it was like, oh, what am I going to do? And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So I said to my dad, "Do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories from monkeys?" Brilliant. <laughs> this is a no. This is what Trevor McDonald does. <laughs> Turned out, he cut quarter to ten. He goes, yeah. oh, got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, sorry, yeah. I was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far fetched living in Manchester like. <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp. Um, I had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> For doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh, God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> had to thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife! I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh. I'd call him up, but he's one of them who, like, swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on and C just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. Do a lot of work, that. Yeah, well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work, are we, No, I mean, Steve? I'm, I'll you get know. myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, oh, you know, so. I'll have a word, I'll have a word, I'll sort it out. Yeah, try yeah, and yeah, sort that out. Yeah, yeah, sort that out, yeah. Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story, then. Let's let him say it in his own words. No, but there was another one as well. Uh, some When fella... you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but there's him, and there's some other fella he knows who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh... I think he said he went, my dad went round one day, I don't know why, right? Went around there, 
knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running mate. round. It's mad. Anyway, uh... <laughs> chimp answered! Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answer in the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No, sure no, it wasn't, wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on, um, then. Is, this is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh... <laughs> Another phrase, we've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't yeah. teach your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look a horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chin pass the door if you're tucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, never heard that one before, Carl, that's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> God. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, pretty yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Dr. Fox? Dr. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, what, he, I, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, long time ago, right? Yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm hmm. Right? Having a good life. Cool. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? <laughs> so, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them. They had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry. I just, yeah. Everything's going great. So, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So... Has Amazon... either your dad's been around, or... Is it... This isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out... <laughs> it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. <laughs> 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 Into a middle class area. Oh, oh, the that ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. You're a rough part of the island. <laughs> so the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah, yeah, of course, and they carry chains. <laughs> so <laughs> I love all this conjecture. They got flip knives and this tattoos. Yeah, go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas. <laughs> this is a shit! This is a <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, right, come on, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh, God! What do you mean this is it? Forget it. No, forget don't it. forget it! Carl, do not miss that! Switch the record off. Oh, Switch the record off. Christ. Switch the record off, Carl. What, what are you talking about? What did they do? Oh. Let's do business right. with the bananas. Yeah. So, they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll, we'll <laughs> So, that brought a stop to it then. The people, the monkeys came. They didn't have money. They said, give us some, you know, give us some bananas. Um, and it says, uh, So what, they exchanged bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business no, it's Comes not. Comes from a little business no. to set up. All right, there, oh God. Carl, you know what? You know what the time is. Bong, <laughs> monkey news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Imagine if Trevor McDonald started like this. Yeah. There's there's been a lot of stuff going on on that with monkeys. Oh yeah. I've also I was mentioning earlier we sort of. Making the grocer the, the, gro the feature grow a bit, uh -huh. right? So I'm thinking. Oh, I haven't told you, Steve, either. I've actually been asked to write a thing about monkeys. A poem? A no, what? no, for a magazine called uh, something Apes. Right. They want me to. Ape. 
They want me to do, uh, like a column, 500 words. About, about, apes. about monkeys? Anything I want on monkeys. Anything. What are you gonna write? Don't know. If, you know, think about it. Well, give him a typewriter. I can't up with Shakespeare eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could anyway, write about yeah. that. Why didn't you write about that? You don't- the fact that you don't believe it. You don't believe that an because, infinite number of monkeys because, could type because you watch Shakespeare. Because you reckon most of them hadn't read Shakespeare so they wouldn't know the, some of the spellings. <laughs> exactly. It wouldn't happen. You idiot. Get on with it. All right. right. The, uh, there's been a few things but one that springs to mind is, uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. <laughs> Right. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh... Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh... I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Okay. Right? <laughs> 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 Find a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. <laughs> Go on. They're having a good chat. All right. What do you found mean? monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about five hundred and thirty-four different words that they're using to like have a chat about. Stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah. What do they chat about then? Just you know things that monkeys are worrying about. Just <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know, who does your hair? <laughs> you going out with her again? Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were they discussing the humanity? Did you see that program on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can walk up right. Yeah. That was good. But, I mean, what, Did what you see how well Do you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um... Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He had some, you know, some explorers over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley? Well, it wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. I always snod grass. Where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right, we've got to be quick. Go on. But, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh. We were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um, the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? <laughs> the lab fella was busy on the phone or something, yeah. right? And um, mm. typical. It's wandering about, it goes up to a, a PC, that's in the corner, a little computer, types down, my name is Marty, right? Mm. So the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Right. Let him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him finish. Oh, I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come I on. He said, uh... He said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here saying, my name's Marty, right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate saying, you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there typing, this isn't a practical joke, my name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? I, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh... I think, we, I, I, I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat, chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Has he right, got his own website Carl, yet? His uh, favourite if, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Have, have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. Uh, no, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh. What do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a wind-up. It's a joke. It's not even- you haven't even got some of the facts wrong. It's just a wind-up. Have you noticed the date? Is it April the 1st? It is April the 1st. You are joking. That it was sent. You're an idiot, Carl. It was sent on April the 1st, Carl. So you're saying the monkey knows it's April the 1st, but you and don't believe- a wind-up, yes. Yeah, I think the- I think the monkey is, has thought, I'll do it on April the 1st so that people think that it's a wind-up, but in actual fact I am a monkey that can type and read. 
Right, haven't got long. You better give the winner. We got monkey news coming up. We haven't really got any monkey news. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? There's nothing going on, seriously. Don't talk. What do the you mean? The last few weeks I've been telling you. No, 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 I, uh, right, right. This really annoys me when you say there's nothing going on. Because you call it monkey news, but it's not yeah. monkey news. You have stories, uh, dubious but stories. Uh, but shut up a minute. About chi- it's always chimps, which annoys me you call it monkey, because they're apes, right? And it's often from the 18th century. Mm. So it's not news anyway. So don't tell me there's no monkey no, news but what I'm this week. Is if there's monkey news worth doing, I'll know about it. <laughs> and there isn't anything, right. so let's leave. Right, it. okay, you are going to give me some monkey news. Well, or, me, okay, right. right, I tell you, I'm telling you, you are going to give me some monkey news or we're not leaving. Right, well, my mum sent me some. Right. right. I got a little letter from her doing the usual sort of stuff, telling me what she's been up to and that. Uh, it was a little thing. About uh, somewhere in Lincolnshire or something. Right, good. Do a bit of uh, do a bit of monkey throwing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean? Because some fella got attacked by one once, and sort of to remember him. On this certain day, they go, "Oh, it was today, wasn't it?" And that fella got attacked by a little monkey and that, and the uh, something about chucking monkeys about. That's horrible. I don't know if they're real. I think it's just like to remember. All right. But that's, that's the only sort of stuff that's knocking about out there. <laughs> but it's not, that one, that's not I've got my mum and dad on it, looking all the time for stuff. <laughs> yeah, there must be more monkey news than that. There isn't nothing going, I mean, there's, there's bits and pieces, there was a bit about Donna Rare, how when she has a kid she's gonna let a gorilla look after it for a week or something. But apart from that, it's, it's that's dead out true. there. That's Well, I don't know what that means. She's, uh, well that's it. Apparently, well, it's not true. She's not going to let a gorilla look after a no, child. No, it is. Apparently a, a fella works with him or something, and, uh... This is rubbish! It's not rubbish. How can she let a gorilla look after a baby for a week? Well, forget it. So, have you ever heard her speak? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, this, uh, this happened in, uh, Pittsburgh, right? Uh, there was a rock band, and, uh, they sort of, they've got this studio in, in Pittsburgh and what have you, mm. and they're laying down tracks and stuff like that. And in the, in the studio that they use, right, there's this, uh, this monkey works there. Right, so <laughs> I love the way he throws that in. Like, cool, like, cool. like, he throws that in, this monkey works there. No, it's just got a little gig there, he sort of, uh, it, mm. it carries the equipment in, guitars. <laughs> no, like. he doesn't. He does. No, uh, he doesn't. He just sort of cleans up after the band. No, yeah. he doesn't. Emptying the ashtrays. Doesn't that happen. Sort of stuff. It doesn't does. happen. That's, that's the gig it's got. Anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gets women out of the crowd that they want to, uh, go <laughs> with. With one arm. <laughs> drag her, drag her back. So anyway, right, so the, the band's in the studio, yeah. right? And, uh, one of the band members brings some A&R fella to the studio to have a listen to the latest track, right? Yeah. So they hit play, and, uh, you know, they're all there going, yeah, brilliant, this is good. Oh, no. Anyway. So the fella says, yeah, I like the track. I, uh, especially like the, the bass on it. Right? <laughs> right, it's, cause it's bullshit. So, This uh, is rubbish. So, so... And they haven't laid down a bass so, track? So, so, so this is, have you heard it? <laughs> so I know, Carl, the, the please don't is, do right, this to so me. So the A&R fella goes, and yeah. it's like, uh, it, the band members are stood about and they're going, that's good that he liked it. And they're saying, yeah, but well, what's he on about with the bass? So no, it it back. this is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. Let's Where did you get this from? Please, because we never Where get to the end. This, this is it? absolute so, nonsense. So they played it back. Yeah, right? and it's the chimp playing bass. So, Definitely not. So they were like, that's weird, we haven't got a bassist. Anyway, so they go, well, whatever, right? So we haven't leave. got a bassist. <laughs> yeah. so, they so, go, whatever, let's go Oh, home. forget it. <laughs> Play the jingle. Uh, oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> Excellent. A particularly aggressive jingle this week. Wow. Yeah, looking forward to this monkey news. <laughs> Carl. Right. Come on. So, what's the name? What? We've done... <laughs> Sorry, what, 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 what? Brilliant. We've done, uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who, like, got involved in crime and stuff. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. We had, uh, the one on the train station, yep. Nick in a bag. Yeah. We had the one who went Don't into a bank. One. Who cares? Went into a bank <laughs> and walked out with the money and stuff. Yes, right. Didn't happen either. 
Next. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them. If they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime Oh, just market news <laughs> update! <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is... Yeah. It's got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you mean- you mean wild animals? You mean- A they, zoo? Yeah, yeah. A zoo or a kennel or nope. something that where they've- they've- they has been, mm. uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. Yeah, it's a prison. is it- is it- does it have fraud cases? It's got- it's I bet, mainly- I, I, mainly sort of animals that are attacked things. And it's mainly violence, I bet. That's my- That and- uh, that and theft. Say it again. Stuff. Fast. <laughs> Say it again. Fast. Say it again. Robin. No, <laughs> let's go back to the, 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 that word. We're going to keep doing it. You've got, we've got Robin. six minutes. You're going to say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, do you say it? No, well, you no, say it. Then you know how to say it. Well, all right, Robin. Then it's been caught, Robin. Say it again, though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So uh, they've got this <laughs> prison. <laughs> right. This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not going to say it. No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys, right? That are in there for life. Because <laughs> that's the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off. But there's back eleven. Again. There's eleven. I'll give you the bit of paper because I thought this was. <laughs> now, even what, you, you thought it was a bit weird. Now, Carl, what, uh, what are they in there for then? Because, I mean, they're in there for life, so I'm Robin, assuming it's murder, Robin, isn't it? Robin. <laughs> Premeditated murder? <laughs> they're not- they're not crime bosses, are they? They're not- Are not they- the, are they the- Prostitution and gambling. Are you sure they're not the, just the pawns and the- and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree going, Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery. <laughs> it's I, not. Wondered if, I wondered if they'd get them. Right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just <laughs> is it at the back, the back of a fag packet found in the toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly- if, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort because it does open with the headline, Parole Unlikely for Inmates of Monkey Prison. <laughs> Officials <laughs> say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail. Officials? Now what kind of people <laughs> work at a monkey jail? <laughs> Where do you work? Uh, um, uh. It says officials say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the, Daily, uh, the, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Montebello blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for 18 months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All basically, 11 monkeys, they were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing them that. <laughs> Wildlife officials believe part of the problem has been caused by thieves training monkeys to help them. Lorry drivers training monkeys as guards for vehicles and itinerant entertainers oh, <laughs> using ill-treated so monkeys as and part it's of the, their it's the monkey that takes the rap. It's a shame, that, isn't that it? That is awful. They didn't know what they were doing, did they? Oh, well, there you go. What do you think of that, though, Carl? What would you- what would, if you- if you could visit them, like Lord Longford or something, what would you- what would you say to them? You go there and they, you, they, you get a visit a week or something, you know. So can you get us a video? <laughs> 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 Alright. Have we got monkey mean? news? Have we left monkey news behind? Monkey news! Come on! What happened? You can't offend monkeys! I'll tell you what is annoying. What? Steve's told me about a film that is about a monkey going off with a woman. Mm. The Charlotte Rampling thing where she- It's a film takes... called Max Monomour. Yeah, she has an affair with a monkey. Go on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You wouldn't like Don't it. Go, we can't go into You wouldn't new like it. Things. You wouldn't like it. It's not- it's not like- it's- it's weird and you wouldn't- Carl, it's not like a nature program where he wears a bowler hat and can talk. Okay. The nature programs that you <laughs> seem to see. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to think I've seen that one. <laughs> yeah, no! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do monkey news. Well, monkey news this week. Play the jingle. Um, Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, ya Right, it's about this monkey that was knocking about in the 1950s. Right. Um, just, uh, <laughs> it was known in the sort of <laughs> LA area. 
Right. Um, and apparently, um, again, I haven't really checked all this out, I've just picked up bits that, that look not. interesting. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, wore a golden mask and, like, a cape and a, a leopard skin belt and stuff, right? So people didn't know that he was a monkey. monkey. Of course they didn't know, yeah. He just thought, they thought he was this bloke who's going around and he was helping out crime situations and stuff. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. So, one, this disguise, that, that you see a, a, a three foot six bloke with arms the length of his body. No, well that's the funny thing, right? They knew, they sort of thought, it's a bit odd, you know, he's stocky, yet extremely flexible. Yeah, and hairy, because he only wore a white mask and a belt. And a distinctive jawline and stuff. And then, uh, right. apparently, like, he used to sort of get to his... Nothing we say gets through, does it? You've, you've, you've decided you can just picture this monkey going, going around solving crimes and just it's... telling you. Let him finish the story. Time's running Jeez. out. So it sort of get to its crime by, like, swinging from the trees and stuff. Of course stuff, it would, right? yeah. But people just thought, it's a normal fella. Of course. Then what happened was, he This is the bit that's gonna annoy me, isn't it? He helped some fellas out, like, you know, and for a reward, for a reward, they were like, do you want some money? You know, you've, you've helped save our lives during a crime and stuff. Mm. Do you want some money in that? And he just went straight for the shopping bags, got a couple of bananas and apples, <laughs> right? And as he was bent down, looking into the bag, getting the bananas and apples, he pulled his mask off, little monkey. So he wasn't allowed to work for the police anymore? It, it ended there. Sure. Weird, well, isn't it? So, what have you been doing this week, Steve? Well, um, I'll tell you what, at the beginning of the week I was, um, incredibly annoyed by Carl. Why? Um, no, uh, well, no, because you, I remember you had a little discussion with Carl a while back saying that, um, you thought he was lazy at times. Yeah. And, you know, you had various criticisms of yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah, his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got a call from him, he said, uh, oh yeah, I should have told you, um, I had a phone call, someone said that they were trying to get hold of Steve Merchant to offer him some lucrative voiceover work. Now you know- That is money time. for old it's money rope. For rope. It, That's it's about, you're in there for about twenty minutes and it's thousands if of pounds. If there are children listening who are still at school, they should definitely, when the careers guy says, what do you want to do? Try and get voiceover, voiceover work. work. Just become a voiceover artist. It's money for old rope. Yeah. So I can't believe my luck because yeah. you know I love money for old rope. Yeah. And um, I said, well, what's the information? He said, oh, oh, I don't know. I deleted the message. It was on his answer, and he deleted the message. I said, right, when did this come? He said, last week. So he took a week to tell me Why? that he had deleted the message. Why? Just because it wasn't for you? I mean, I don't know how selfish that is, Carl. Uh, no, what happened is, right, I got back off holiday. Mm. I was at home. Yeah. So I called up my voicemail. Yeah. Right, because I can do that. Yeah. Remote access, right, because I've got to know what's going on at work. Of course. Called in, it was still my day off, I was going through the messages. Yes. Heard one from some company saying, we're after Steve Merchant. Yeah. We want him to do some voiceover work. Yeah. Right? Mm. I can't remember the name of it, but Thanks. I thought, right, I'll, I'll remember to tell Steve. A week later. It doesn't matter, does it? You still got the message, and they. What, what, what message? Yeah, but voiceovers have to be done in the next. Couple but I didn't of days. get the message. I got all I got was there was a company I don't remember the name, and they phoned you. They wanted voiceover. Work. Uh, well, how does that help me? There are hundreds of thousands of media companies. I, I you didn't more... take down a number. You didn't take down a name. Nothing. I, I was more puzzled. Why they'd want you to voice anything? <laughs> What? I don't no, but listen to that voice. You must be annoyed. You must be annoyed. Wanna, I mean, talk about rubbing salt into the wound. No, but listen to you. Oh, God. I don't know what you, I don't know how you think, I don't know what, how your mind works. Well, I was thinking there must be a tractor sale on somewhere. <laughs> I can't believe- What do I care? What's no, going on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, the I don't care. Turns. I don't care if they want me to advertise, you know, <laughs> the latest designs in pirate fashion wear. I will do a voiceover because it's money for the rope. I don't care what you think of my voice. Someone was interested, they were offering me money. And you decided arbitrarily, oh, they probably wouldn't want it, they probably made a mistake, uh, they wouldn't like the way he talks anyway, I'll delete the message. No, the thing is, right, I what get paid- What girl? I get paid to sit here on a Saturday, yeah. right? Play CDs and that, help out with the show, get you decent prizes. I think I, I, I do me bit. Sure. Right? It isn't about running your voiceover work. So hang on, so Carl, let me just get this right. If someone was ever to phone me, right, trying to get in touch with you, to offer you work, you'd want me to just ignore the message. That is what you're saying to me. You'd prefer that I deleted the message, I ignored it altogether. That's what you'd want for me to do. That's what you'd want me to do. 
What, someone's calling you for some Someone's phoned me. They say, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a friend of a friend, I've got your number, Steve. Uh, I would love to use Carl Pilkington for mm -hmm. a, 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 well, you exciting have sex scene. Well, happened. Well, I'm saying, in the future, if it was to occur, <laughs> if it was to occur, do you want me to just ignore it? Is that what you prefer if you did it? Uh, well, it's not like that, though. I, I did tell you, I told you the message. You didn't tell- what? You told me a week later with none of oh. the information I needed. Carl, um, that doctor called last week, that kidney's ready for that, um, little girl that you were doing that sponsored walk for. I forgot to tell you. Oh. I hope it's still alright. They keep it on ice, don't they? I think they do. Uh, uh, oh, selfish, Carl. Uh, so selfish. Uh, and you've lost the same. Beautiful bit of, uh, Snoop on XFM, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kicking it with, uh, yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. 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 Uh, Steve Merchant and, uh, Carl Pilkington. Uh, what has happened to Carl? Cause Carl, I thought, is, you know, is this sort of sweet little buffoon, almost childlike mm. in his, his ways. You know what I mean? Like Charlie Brown after some sort of head injury. And, <laughs> and now he's, and now he's coming back like that, having a go at, not not caring about voiceover work. It's like because Heat have written about him a couple of weeks. It's like he thinks he's better than you in no, some well, way. I do care though. You're out of order saying that, right? Because I sorted you out with tickets for stuff. He Carl, doesn't turn up to. Carl, I received a phone call. You deleted the message offering me voiceover work. You're as bad as my agent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm appalled by it. <laughs> and I thought we were friends. <laughs> ah, at least his agent, when he does it, is losing himself money as well. Yeah, he, you, he, you, he, he, you, exactly. You've got no comeback. You're still sweet. And to have a go is you. You've got a mank wine, right? Your voice like a cartoon Gallagher brother on Coronation Street. I mean, and Steve's. I mean, yes, Steve does sound like a, a wurzel, but that right. doesn't. Do you know what I mean? No, no. A, what about Jethro? Jethro does well. Jethro gets on Des O'Connor any time he wants. Just has to phone Des up, and he's on there, Straight on and there. he's whining like a wurzel as well. So, you know, to say that all that right, is what, a rubbish. What, all right. Apart from that, then what else have I done that's wound you up? Well, that's 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 a that's a good starting point because you haven't even apologised. No, it's a shock because that's the first time I've let you down, and I didn't really let you down because I passed on the message. You didn't. Well, we've been through it. You didn't okay. pass on the message. Saying I deleted a message for you is not passing on the message. Yeah. I mean, I just think what's happened is that you've got a little bit of celebrity now from the show. I, I mean, I've seen you being recognised in pubs and stuff, or people have come up and they said, are you Carl? Because they've seen Ricky. Now, it just seems to me that you are not keeping yourself grounded. You are just, no. you cannot deal with fame, you've not got the intelligence to cope no. with the celebrity, oh. and you're just becoming now this kind of ego-driven monster. Now it's monster getting, now it's getting. Now it's getting, it scares me, Carl. You're not bit, the man I remember. Look, I, I put a lot of work into this yeah. on Saturday. This isn't in my proper job, right? Mm. Where were you in the week? Oh, yeah, he's got you there. What? Where were you in the week? I said, I said, let's meet up, let's, you know, come up with some new features and that. Where were you? Carl, you phoned me yeah. about an hour before you wanted to meet. That is not what I would call. I is mean, that, though? that that's is arrogance right there. That's the way I work. That's arrogance right there. That's ego right there. He couldn't, he couldn't get, but it, I, I, when I came in, he said, where's Steve? I said, Steve can't make it. I had to tell him why. Steve was staying in to tidy up because his landlady was coming. This, this he couldn't get over. He could not get over that you couldn't make it because you had to stay with your landlady. Is, is he talked about it for about the hour when we were working? What are you talking? I, I last week I had a bad throat. You yeah, wouldn't what, tolerate what you that. You last week when you, had about, when you had a bad throat, where, where were you? <laughs> Why couldn't we do any work then? Because you're at home with your mum and your dad. <laughs> you, you were on holiday, <laughs> weren't you? <laughs> Why didn't you get your mum and your dad to clean the flat? <laughs> He's done it again. He's done hey. you again, mate. Play a record. How has he done me? What? <laughs> they live in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The joke's on you. He couldn't get him to clean the flat. Ah. <laughs> I don't know who's laughing at who then. All right, listen. Can right. we just go back to laughing at Carl? Okay. Because I know right. where we stand there. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Do you want to, uh... That's the natural order of things. <laughs> I know, yeah. The world's gone topsy turvy. <laughs> he's, he's stepped out of the pecking yeah. order. Right. Well, someone who I don't let down, right, are the listeners of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to uh, read out the prizes for uh, the busters? We'll get, okay. we'll get that one. In. Oh, we're are we not doing rock busters again? Are we? Yeah. Well, it was a shambles last week. We we cancelled it two weeks ago. What? 
Oh, uh, it just, I mean, there, there you are right there, Rick. I mean, b both you and I, and let's be honest, we're the guys with, the, with our names on the poster. I know, it's yeah. It's supposed to be your show. And, and yet, our faces. Exactly, and yet. <laughs> we have to have, we have to be on tube stations with people laughing at yeah. us. Yeah, well, they're not laughing at me, really. Wow. Well, I don't know. Them, just... What do you think people think of the poster, Carl? Seriously. Uh. No, I don't want to know his opinion. It's just gonna be insulting. <laughs> My it point is this, he was Rick. Looking at you. My point is this, Rick. We used to be able to decide what the content of this show was. I know. Now it's him. It's just him. He wants to do rock buses. He gets to do it. I know. And it's it's awful, rock but like, like, uh, Tourette's Trent Derby. Not only is that offensive, it doesn't work as a clue. Saying that, have you come up with anything for this week? What's the prizes? I'll read out the prizes. We've got. Who's the winner? The winner. Very lucky, Sandra Cassidy of Leon C. She gets all those great prizes. You know, we've actually had people emailing in saying, this is the worst Rockbusters ever, because it was too easy, it was boring. Oh. Well, uh, 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 this is just, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, Other dear. people saying, um, it well, really has run its course. Some people genuinely agree oh, with Ricky. Oh, car, this must hurt, mate. Stinging attacks on you. Um, some people are just slagging you off generally, saying that oh, you, win, you whinge all the time. It looks like Steve like. was right when he, um, sort of like poo poos your ideas. So. When he, uh, when he wheezes on your so bonfire. Other, someone else, I swear to God, someone else emailed in and said, don't bother sending me the prizes, take them to a charity shop, or pawn them, give me the money, I'd rather have it. So I don't know what to say, Carl. I just wonder if it really has run its course now. Alright, well, well, we'll see what you come up with next week, well. then. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what you do, let's see what you come in with. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Five to one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you'll be popping in with a, a, a hip hop track. Yeah. Full of, uh, yeah. Full of effing and jeffing. Well, again, no, I, no I, won't, I won't bring it into you, I'll do it myself at home. Because obviously that makes <laughs> oh, it easier. Oh, dear. Obviously you can't cope. Oh, dear. Are you actually going to be here next week or are you still going to be in Cornwall? No, you see, there again, I'll be back. I'll be back in time. <sighs> and in the, in the week when I go to, you know, Cornwall to see the monkey world. Yeah, you're two days past the monkey world. That still works. Yeah. <laughs> still work. What? What are you going to interview monkeys? some of the monkeys? What? I get love some stories. that. I love that. You, you were going. Could a monkey live without bones? And so I'm going. Carl, shut the. F please, just look at the monkeys and eat your ice cream, and that's work, is it? What? Oh, okay. Okay. so just go back to insults briefly. Go on. You know, you're saying. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, uh, see, that's... Goofy, that's no, not No, no, fair. no, because that's, that's what he said, it's in my head. I, what I, do you mean he said no, that? When did he no, say that? No, no, I mean... When did you call me Goofy? No, he didn't. Okay. He said about what's in my head. Hey, no, when it's, come on. Come off it. Don't what, who's calling me Goofy? No. I'm not even Goofy. Goggle light's fair enough. No, yeah, but you can sort your Lanky. account, well, I can't. But yeah. do you know I can, how can I sort my look out? I'm not even Goofy, you've that's got, not fair. You've got the proper features. What? Just needs sorting out a bit. I can't help it if, if my hair's not good. Who do you think's cooler to look at, Steve or the Chemical Brothers? Steve. Definitely, yes! You're absolutely right, Carl, and that's the first sensible thing you've said if, for a long time. If I was time. to work with Steve on, on some music, yeah. if I had the choice, I think Steve would look better on a album cover. Really? Yeah. What would you do? Would you change him at all? To, what would you do with his I'd, image? I'd put him in the distance so I <laughs> just... I can't believe this is... This no, is just so you don't look as tall, that's doing you a favour. <laughs> You know, I was on the, this is true, I was on the, uh, uh. on the tube, right, coming in to meet Gervais the other day, and I was wearing a suit and I, my mobile phone slipped out of my pocket and it landed on the seat, and I didn't realise this, and as I was about to get off, some bloke who was sat there like an old guy, he picked up the phone, he went, Oi! Uh, Lanky, you dropped your mobile phone! <laughs> and I was like, well, I thank you for pointing out I dropped my phone, but did you have to do the Lanky? But you knew who he meant, I bet you turned round straight away. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> you even yes, Steve. But he's done you again. But I was the only up. person stood up. It was a fairly empty train. Was it? Was there any other lanky people there? No. Well then. And I was on my mobile phone. And I was chatting away to someone. And uh, what can only be described as a prostitute. Go on. Stood on the street was corner. Was she a woman that uh, gave for money? Yes. That is a prostitute. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Go on. And as I was walking by, she said, "Do you want to buy?" What a boys. No, you sure my... it wasn't a market trader giving six plums or No, it was definitely. Six for a quid? No, it was definitely a prostitute. Yeah. And what annoyed me about it, what I wanted to pick her up on something, was the fact that I was on my mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so can you imagine? Who, who would I, I, what, am I gonna hang up? Sorry mum, can I call you back? I've you know, you know you say you want me to meet more women. And you know you sent me that. 30 quid <laughs> exactly. for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Johnson, I'm really excited about the job. Can I call you back? I'm just going to negotiate with a whore. <laughs>
<laughs> and it was, it was like, it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally, she, the normal etiquette of prostitution, you know, that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> I've seen this in they films. Will, yeah. Yeah, they exactly. Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take you out for a meal, that I sort know, of thing. That had sort of gone out of the window and yeah, she was sure. just there, desperate, running around Did the Did she streets. go out of a window? Like because a Because that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been, uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London. It's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I, I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to <laughs> Sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. <laughs> and I'm not being mean. No, you know no, 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 no. Mean, time sorry, to, I'll, I'll let you go back to it. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that no, Steve, Steve, Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Well, <laughs> no, he does. <laughs> Do you know, do you know? Yeah, before, no, no, but it's not whether what he thinks of his looks. You know. It's what he thinks of you talking about his looks on. No, but it's go it's on. like how you were talking before about. You know, your eyes are bad. It's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here. Right? <laughs> I don't get that! I don't know what you mean! What when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks, let's make his eyes bad. Right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, see, we're balancing I... it out. Right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic. Sorry, sorry, right, Johnny Depp. Oh, hey, listen, <laughs> but- my my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go into this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> I I am gonna. <laughs> do you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? Do you look know. like you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, right? <laughs> just a little balloon, like a party balloon. <laughs> if you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, <laughs> that's what you look like. <laughs> this is not, this is right. Oh, so. Well, no, play a record. No, I don't want to get into this. Listen, it's now, too intense. Now, now you've you've got onto this. Let's just nip it in the bud now. I'll tell you something that I wasn't going to tell you because I think it was I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear well, it. Right, it was on the tube. Right. Well, I was. Someone told me they were on the tube. Mm. Right. And um, it uh, the, the tube pulled into a station. <laughs> right? And one of the women <laughs> saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with <laughs> you and Rick on it. Right. Yeah. So this this woman apparently goes, uh, oh look, there's. Uh, Ricky. Ricky's on the radio, right? And, uh, the other woman goes, oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it? So she goes, oh, I didn't, I didn't know he was on the radio. And she goes, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. Look, I'm sorry, look. Because he didn't look, he found this bad one. <laughs> she said, oh, look at that, look at that person he's with. So she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. She said, that's Steve. <laughs> she said, I'm kind of, I was, I sort of aware that he looked odd because Carl mentions it on the radio. Yeah. So so it wasn't as much as of a blow to me, but I can see how it was a bit of a shock to you. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 weird, isn't it? Yeah. And that isn't me sort of telling this woman to say anything. That was all happened without anybody else sort of bringing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So was it? Sorry, you seem to be relishing this. Was it because of the little balloon story that made you? I'll, I'll honestly say, I want to told you, but if you're going to start, you know, having a pop, yeah, do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. I can't just sit here and <laughs> take sure. it and that. No, no. I mean, all yeah. oh, mates. Yeah, it's just uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I was just mistaken for Johnny right. Vegas. Steve's got a story about that. If you want to have a go at me, well, you know, someone just thought you were a fat with a beard, which is true. Well, don't have a go at me because he said you looked. Well, you looked... started it. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, did. I didn't. You were milking it. You were I egging was, him I on. I was laughing. You were egging him on. <laughs> I sort of was. Yeah. But let's not, you know. Oh, it's a good job you've got lots of good mates like Jonathan Ross you can go and hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> don't need other friends. People who've helped you in your career. This is what the phone message he left me Wednesday on my mobile. But I just uh, is chatting about certain things that are going on at the moment, uh, what he does need to know. Um, old Duncan, who he mentions, is my agent, and, you know, you'll, you'll understand a few other things, but this is the sort of message I get from Carl, right? Windsor. Old messages. Alright. Ten past twelve. Wednesday. Um, just getting loads of f***ing people calling me all the time about sh Yesterday, DVDs signing for BBC London. I don't work there, but I've been dragged into that. 
I've got a woman on uh, leaving a message from Talk PR going on about do you do you want to go and see Pop Idol again? Right? They're just saying uh, you and some listeners can go. So I'm sure you'll love that. I've got Jim Benner wanting you to introduce the tin buckets at the Astoria. So can can you just like let Duncan know? that I'm, I'm doing his job whilst he's sat on his arse with his thumb firmly up his arse can you let him know that I'm running around like a c*** here sorting shit out for you alright see you later <laughs> so do you know what I mean I know but that's the kind of phone message he's leaving that, but, do you remember but, who he was before but, you but he's even annoyed that he gets a phone call I remember he got a phone call for you to do a voiceover and didn't pass yeah. it on you missed a voiceover that yeah. was thousands of pounds no, I, did, I did pass it on though I told that, you you I did said you said someone had phoned yeah. That's not good enough. But who's that? Well, she, she didn't say and I didn't ask, but- Of course she said! She didn't say. Rubbish. So you didn't take your number down? Just when she went, oh, can you tell Steve to call me? And you went, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just thought you'd know her already. I should've oh. known, it was a woman, so I should've known. He's having a go, you see? Unbelievable. I don't know how it's gone back on me. You're the one who was picking on it. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying. I'm defending- why is he having a go but at he you? he never because... picks on Ricky because he knows you are his bread and butter. <laughs> Seriously, do you know what I mean? The only reason he's got Mondays off is because you're still doing this show. Yeah. yeah. That's why he's scared of you. That's why he's like, he has a go at you on the phone, but he always picks on me because he knows, you know, I'm a pushover, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> he's scared of you. I can't believe, I don't know how it works. Is that true? Steve, I'm always sorting you out. I look after you. Mm. Sort you out with tickets, I sort you out with lager I, I got out. you today. Why got, what, 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 what do you mean you're sorting out tickets and lager? What's this? Right, whenever you want tickets. Yeah. yeah it's all right. I don't want to use this as like moaning time and that, because yeah. I don't like to moan. I'm busy and that, right? <laughs> like, I've, sorted, <laughs> I've sorted you out tickets for gigs. Yeah. Right? What well, somebody doesn't even turn up to. Yeah. yeah, we won't even go on about that. Yeah. Right? Lager. He was talking about the cure, he complained it was boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was that big drum of lager that yeah. you had, and you said, oh, put that in your room for me. Yeah. Because I don't want to carry it home. Right? Just lazy. So I said, all right, then I'll put it in my room. It goes missing, it gets nicked. <laughs> then you have a go at me because it got nicked. Yeah. I get you another one. You make me carry it around town for you for half an hour, then you say, oh, I can't be bothered taking it home. Can you take it back to work for me? Yeah. Yeah. But interestingly, this is like a year ago, so it's, it's, it's still still pressing on you. Oh, hang it? on, and I forgot the one when we had an argument over fifty p. <laughs> yeah, when we went you out didn't for want coffee. Fifty p back that you owed me. Uh, that was the same day you'd given him about forty quid worth of lager. But see, this is my problem. This was my point at the time. It's not the fifty fifty p in terms of money is not what's important. The fact that you think you don't have to give me money back because it's only fifty p. That was the point at stake. Mm. I, it's me who makes a decision, oh, don't worry about the 50p, not you, it's only 50p, I'm not gonna give it to you. Do you know what I mean? There's mm. gotta be rules, otherwise it's chaos, Carl. Come on, mate. Alright? Don't wanna fall out about no, it. No, it's not fair. <laughs> should we kiss and make up? Do you want that? Do you want oh, that? It's yeah. alright. Yeah. yeah. Well, should we yeah. play a little record and come back to this, cause... I can't believe it started with you slagging him off, Rick, and I've ended up... I know. ...as the monster. I know. Bit of R.E.M. Yeah. Well, we, we, we're not gonna do, uh... Freak of the week here, okay? Right? Because we've we've done quite a bit of that in the last twenty minutes. Right? We've so we'll done that. freaks, you think? Yeah, sure. We'll just shift it a little bit, okay? Uh, I don't like to keep saying. Don't want people to be thinking we're sort of taking the mick out of anyone. <laughs> no, right? Because we're not about that. I feel that like I can do a little bit of it because I work with with you, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> right? sure. It, it gives yeah. me that right. It's like a care worker. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like that thing of, you can't be homophobic because I've got a couple of gay mates and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. It, I think it sort of gives me that edge. Yeah. Right? So, so you're not freakophobic because you work with Steve? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Okay, well, well, I think... By, by, by that token, I should be able to sort of slag off, you know, the mentally ill. Or you? at least mentally handicapped. What, what starts on you? Um, mine changes. I'm on the edge. Oh, right. God. Okay. He even makes that complicated. Of course. He I even am. makes twaddle complicated. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, it changes depending what paper you read. Yeah. All right. Twenty third of you? September. So I think yeah. most of the time I'm a Virgo. I think. Oh. Well, I'll tell you. Write, write that down, uh, listeners. Uh, Twenty third of September, uh, and come round and give him the bumps. <laughs>
Um, what, what I mean? Well, according to this, I mean, it. I, I mean, you've been criticising this, Rick. Sure. You've been saying that there's maybe not not anything in the zone. Yeah. yeah well, hang on. Let me just read the, the uh, I'm, I'm, Is this going to change my mind? Well, Am I going to eat my words? The typical Virgoan. Mm, words. Okay. The what? physical appearance of the typical Virgoan. Yeah. High forehead. That's not true. Cranium may seem too big in comparison with the face. Look at Carl. Look at Carl. But how specific is that? Has an extremely large forehead, has a high hairline. That's mm. not true though, is it? Maybe quite tall. What are the blokes like? Often has one foot turned in more than the other. What do they- they just described Rain Man! What is that? How can I be specific? Well, that's why it sounds like Carl! <laughs> <laughs> what, one foot turned in! Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, have they even bothered doing one for you? Because there isn't many people who- Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Go on. What are you I, saying? I, I sort of think I'm fairly average looking, but I'm saying, have they wasted a page in that book for whatever you are? <laughs> <laughs> it started off me being dissing him and stuff, and you've been nice. Hang on a minute. I don't think you can be a Virgo, because it says uh, that they are normally quick, alert, and intelligent. <laughs> No, actually, I have to say, it says here, uh, behaviour and personality traits of the Virgoan, uh, uh, is an, as a child, is an excellent mimic, uh, can learn many things in a short time, yeah. not really true of you, is it? What, what, Rarely like, questions what? authority, but frequently questions facts. You yeah. never question facts. Yeah, you never question authority, he's scared <laughs> of authority. Yeah. Um, uh, da 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 Yeah, you were usually trying, very, very upset if teased. That's true. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. He, Hang he, on a minute though. Yeah. Can't take a bit of stick, too much depends. pressure. If you yeah. can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. No. What to teach a young Virgoan? Myths, fairy stories, make believe, daydreams, and how to use imagination should all be taught to young Virgoans. So they have plenty of magical moments to remember in their adult years oh. when they are often alone. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. I know. This is good stuff. This well, is really good stuff. All right. Well, let's see. What What are you? Uh, well, um, I don't, don't think we should talk about that. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. It says the Virgoan is- I love some of the specifics of this. Virgoan yeah. is an employer. He's excellent as the boss of a small company. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't get him on a Tuesday. Yeah, He's probably he stamp can... collecting then. Yeah. Come on, he see. loves a bit um, of haddock. Okay, let me look at mine. Oh, oh that is good though, Carl, isn't it? That is you all over. I've changed your mind. It's brilliant. It's a real science. They've really put their work in with this one. Let me see, Sagittarius, oh. Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarian is a happy, playful little clown. Little. Greets everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see, Sagittarius at home. Uh, He's um, only gonna read the good bits though, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. If that's it, what, what can it say? Mm. Uh, have, they, have they done yours in sort of small print, cause you've got special eyes? <laughs> I don't know what that insult is, Carl. What kind of an insult is that? Well, you know. <laughs> He's up to that. Look at his face. He's <laughs> done me. Oh, oh dear. And come back to me. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Still arguing, this time about having help from your and dad. What do you think, Carl? No, I'm not. We're, I don't want this to turn into some sort of wacky type thing where. We're pretending we're arguing. Yeah. Well, we're not pretending. We're not we pretending. Are you are arguing. Yeah, I know. I know what people will think we're messing about. Oh, right? that wouldn't have thought so. We just need to. We can talk about it later. Sort it out. Hmm. Yeah. It's just that Carl's a little bit stressed. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not stressed, but. And he doesn't really understand that you know. So, you know, me and Steve have got lots of different jobs in the week. He's just got one job. Yeah. But... And we sort of rely on people getting messages to us. You know, as soon as they get them. You know, and. Not sort of deleting them from their phone selfishly. Yeah. Just things like that, you know, people being on the ball. Not just thinking about themselves all the time, not just thinking about number one. What do you think, Carl? Whatever. Do you mm. know what I mean? Whatever. Don't get all maudlin again. Just have a little discussion. Yeah, this will annoy you. Guess what? Think of this, you little slaphead twat. Um, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that's so in his arse, that's so in his arse. Right, apparently, women can get bald treatment on the National Health Service, but men can't. What do you think of that? Do you think that's fair? Is that a fact? It's a fact. 
We what? should point out that Carl is, uh, would you say balding? Yeah. Would that be fair? Well, either that or a wide parting. <laughs> yeah. See? Strokes. Someday. Now, it was a better, better choice, wouldn't it, to start off with? Um, oh, hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously. Steve Mitchell. No, come on, let's get my name right from now on. That, that novelty's worn off. What is it? Is it- Steve Merchant. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. that's the wrong one, isn't it, Mitchell? The Guardian got it wrong, it's Steve Merchant. And the more I say Mitchell, the more people are thinking- Exactly, might be it Mitchell. might be Mitchell. Oh, God, sorry, Dave. Um, <laughs> but Carl wanted to start off with the stereophonics. Oh, loser. Cause it was a newer track. And Carl now, we've made him what he is, he was nothing when Nobody. we found him. He's right? like work experience. And now he's going, oh, so we should start off with the stereophonics. I'm going- Trying Carl, to tell you what to do, If right? I want anyone's opinion, I don't. <laughs> Basically. But he probably come to me, I imagine. <laughs> before, I'd be the first person. Before Carl, yeah. I'd consult you, Steve. Thank so you. Just keep it. Just because he uh, was in the what was it? Pill he his making mobile disco, music. I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I literally can't wait. Should we do it now? Well, I'm tempted to save it because I just want to mention to people um, that uh, they should be very excited because uh, it's going to be Carl's special night tomorrow. Are you excited, Carl? Oh yeah. Oh, this is yeah. Um, uh, me and Steve because we were nominated. We get a guest. For the Bafta uh, Awards. Um, and it's, uh, it doesn't say guest, it actually says, um, you know, uh, partner. So I'm taking, um, my partner. And, uh, Steve's taking Carl. Yeah. But what Carl doesn't realise is, you will have to pretend you're his partner, otherwise you yeah. wouldn't be able to get it. Yeah, we'll have to hold says, hands on the is this your, is this really your partner? It's not just a guest. They have That's to, how it is. And either we go in like that or we can't get in. You have to, you just have to be with him when you go up there. I mean, you have to, uh, d does yeah, he have to hold it? You should, we should hold hands, but I think what we should do is just to make sure that there's nothing at all that, like, it's gonna go wrong, we should just do a little kiss. Just like, and just I'll, I'll, I'll be seen sort of like cheek to cheek, just to show them that, yeah. you know, you're not, he's, he's like not Elton just getting, John and David he's not just getting his mates in. Just looking <laughs> through some of the news stories that Carl did make it into Carl's news roundup. Yeah. Um, Bum. This, this one you might, might be interested in. Headline, woman says partner ran off to become vampire. Yeah. And it says, a young mother says her partner has dumped her to become a vampire. Rebecca Roberts from Somerset uh, says Matthew Barrett right. fell for a blood-worshipping woman in a US cult. The 23-year-old mother says she, he began shaving all his body hair, dressed in black, and used Rebecca's lipstick to redden his eyes. Rebecca caught him performing weird blood rituals in front of his computer at night, cutting himself to prove commitment. She said, I thought it was just a hobby. <laughs> Everyone's got a right to one. I was pleased he found an interest. Brilliant. This was apparently from The Sun. Uh, apparently he's left, he's gone to America, he's living in this o Ohio-based cult. But it's the last bit where she's been asked whether or not if he came back, would she take him back? Sure. And this is where I wonder if the journalist, you know how journalists are supposed to just report the news, be objective. Yeah. I wonder if maybe the journalist here has maybe had some <laughs> interference. Made the quote better for Possibly, them than go on. Because it says, um, I never thought this would take over his life. Now, if he came back, I'd say fangs, <laughs> but no fangs. <laughs> but oh dear! I can't believe. It. Imagine you're the woman, Rick. Okay. And I've come round. You're to the journalist. journalist. I'm the journalist, and I've okay. come in and I've said, I can't read about this. All I have to do is not say that yeah. thing. You've okay. come. You've come. I don't see. You're obviously quite upset. Yeah. Yeah. Gone gutted. Off. Um, if he came back, would you take him back? Definitely not. Right. Really what would you say to him if he came just back? Just get lost. Right, but I I'm never... really pissed off with you. Would you perhaps say something a bit more pithy? Pith- not in this situation, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're he, upset. He cuts himself, he drinks blood, he's left me. Yeah, no, sorry, sod sorry. off. I'm not interested, mate. Because I'll tell you what. Go on. I mean, I like what you said there, but I wonder yeah. if we could condense that a bit more. If he came back, um, would you say- Go away. Would you say something- would you ever say something like, thanks, but no thanks? No, cause that sounds- it makes it flippant, cause I'm really angry. I know you're annoyed, And I'm upset, so I wouldn't sure. say- I certainly what, wouldn't say thanks. I'd say- I might say no thanks. But what if you- what if you sort of <laughs> said it like aggressively, like you were giving him the finger, thanks, but no thanks, like you didn't really what, mean sort it. sort of sarcastically? Sarcastically, would you possibly I say- I might say thanks, but no thanks, and right. that'd be it, and that's- right. uh, and, and I'd leave it there, I'd yeah. never- and I'd never change that. Sure. I'd never change those words. Words. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Do you like puns? N hate them. Right. I don't like it's Countdown, I don't like QI, I don't like any of those past Cambridge, Oxford types. I, ha ha I hate ha puns. If you had to say thanks but no thanks in the form of a pun, what would you maybe say? I wouldn't. I never would. Right. I'd say thanks but no thanks. I would, uh, you know, I, I mean, I feel embarrassed that I'd even say that because I don't think I would even say thanks but no thanks. <laughs> okay. But if I did go that far, I'd leave it there. Sure. Sure. So, have you ever noticed, as I have, go on, the similarity between the word thanks 
and fangs. Not really. It's it very similar. Not fangs, really. Fangs, F fangs. T H. There's a K. Fangs very much. G. It's A and N. Well, the A, the N, and the S. But that's about Would it. Would you agree? It sounds marginally similar. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sort Is of. it possible you might one day say fangs, but no fangs? I wouldn't know. Right. I could put that though, could I? But don't say it, I said it. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> fangs, but no fangs. Yeah. Carl is still buzzing about these conjoined twins. No, it's just. One of them, of course, had to be. Because one of them was sort of shorter than the other and had to be sort of wheeled around on a kind of trolley. Thing. Oh, by, is this by the other? By this the other isn't twin. Molly and Dolly, is it? No, they're not. Called, one's called Reba. And oh, I forget what the other one's called. Sheena, maybe, or something like that. Do you uh, remember, Carl? No, I wasn't that impressed with the names. It's just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you immediately put them out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Those are rubbish names. I'm just, uh, forget, 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 cough, forget. Were they? Forget, they're gone. Were they British or American? American. Yeah, American. Oh, because I've, I've, I've seen some American ones. Well, bizarrely, Spooner. one of them was a apparently a country music star. This is Molly and Dolly. Well, they're not called the Molly one that and joined Dolly. at the Oi. The one that joined. But they're not. The... I think you've made up the Molly and no, Dolly. No, it was on Jerry Springer. There's a little one that s sits on a seat, and the other one carries it round, uh, her round. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they're not called Molly and Dolly. <laughs> there was something like that. They're called. Well, we know that one of them's called Reba, and I forget. The uh, other one of them was a country and western singer or something. Yeah, and one of. But she was saying, "Yeah, I've just uh, made a movie." It's coming out shortly in theatres. <laughs> Is your sister the other in it? Said, yeah, and the other one said, oh, I'm not involved. <laughs> I did, it's utterly bizarre because they, they live there, they work so hard to live their lives separately. Yeah, they say, oh, it's you all, know, yeah, exactly. of course, so, yeah. You know, they, they try not to. So, so she's talking about her music career and the other one's sort of not taking any kind of credit for it, which is nice, I it's suppose. It's weird, though, because when she was singing as well, the other one just stands there. She doesn't join in, she doesn't sort of dance. Offer backing or, vocals. Do you know what I mean? Make a group out of it. <laughs> yeah. A duo. Yeah, well, but it seems like we're sort of being horrible, but we're no, not. We're not. I mean, well, really no, we're not. No, we're thing, laughing but... at Carl's amazement at, mm. at this phenomenon. Sorry, I, we're, I just got to say, we're not, we're not, you know, the, taking you know the, the mickey. The really weird thing about all this, what? right? And it's annoying because you were saying about, you know, oh, what should have Trisha have asked and all that. Yeah. But one of them mentioned, um, that one of them was adopted and the other one wasn't. Don't talk rubbish. <laughs> no, seriously. I didn't understand it, right? Of and course then, you didn't. And then Trisha sort of said, well, let's have a chat and, and they were like, no, I don't want to go into that. What do you mean one was adopted? That's what you said, one of them, <laughs> I don't, don't quiz me on it. But that, that's what was, that's what was said. <laughs> hello there, I'm a, <laughs> hello there, I'm a multi-millionaire. Oh, and yeah. I've uh, just seen your orphanage. Oh, I'd yeah, love to adopt it? one of your children. You'd like to adopt one? L I'd love to adopt a children. I've got loads from around the world, so I'd love yeah. to adopt one. I'd, I'd give you ten thousand oh, dollars towards oh, your, uh, well, well, your well, we'll speed it through then, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Okay. We've actually got two left. I so need one. I'm only interested right. in one. Yeah, I don't okay. need any more. Don't need any They're more. Sisters, they sisters. Uh, they. I know it'd be tragedy to break them up, but I really need one. Now break up. There's the there's the rub. You see. Sure. Because sure. Um, you just need the one. It's ten thousand dollars now. You can have that. I'll sign it now. But okay. I don't want to discuss I'll it. Bring, I'll bring it around. I'll bring it around. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Ding dong. Hi. Yeah. Brilliant. You brought my kid, right? Yeah. There she is. There. That's, That's a joy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just standing next to a bush. Yeah. Do you want to? Can you bring her out? To no. Me? It's like, there's, like, there's nothing behind the bush. So just you just want. Do I you just want. I want to be able. I just want to be able to walk three hundred and sixty degrees round her. Do you want her or not? Yes, I, I can't Make believe it! <laughs> <laughs> What's that little trolley? She's talented. <laughs> oh, dear. You're oh. talking nonsense, Carl. Reading the paper there, Yeah, Steve. well, I don't normally read the paper, but no. um, I was having a glance through the Daily Express. Does anyone read the Express? Well, yeah. you do at the moment, look. <laughs> well, true. Live on air. Yeah. Read well, it out and then uh, about 400 people don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading, I was obviously attracted, uh by this little news item, gun Go raid by three Saddams. Uh, three armed men- Oh, they're up to their old tricks again, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Three armed men wearing Saddam Hussein masks were on the run last night after robbing a corner shop. The raiders threatened the worker with a handgun and knife, ordering him to open the till, blah, 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 get the money out. And it says that they also tried to rob an earlier shop earlier in the day. Police said, we are linking the raids because the descriptions of the offenders are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what did the first one not quite get yeah, right? Yeah, 
Well, they looked very similar. <laughs> I oh. think it was Gaddafi. Three Gaddafis. Right. Cause that's weird, cause we've had three uh, Saddam Hussein's down a oh, shop so down that, the road. Oh, that's what I meant. Is he the same guy? Cause I well, wanna... I assume so, I wouldn't have thought. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, no, 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 get the no, Gaddafi guys same. on the Saddam Hussein uh, show. No, I, no, I, I'm, I'm almost sure <laughs> it, it'd be the same way. I didn't know, I, one's got a moustache, haven't they? And one, like, they've, or they've all got a moustache. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's, there was three blokes with masks, Middle Eastern appearance. I don't know. But I mean, I imagine it's the same. I, um, cause I've only ever seen really, um, robberies being planned in films. Sure. So I don't know how it works. I assume that- So you say. <laughs> yeah. But I assume at some point someone's got to get together- one of them, the ringleader's got to get together and go, okay, well we need to wear masks obviously to disguise our patients. Yeah. I'm thinking of going with the regular stockings. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll tell you it'll be funny. <laughs> well, I don't want to be funny. Well, no, no. We want to- We want to strike fear into the hearts of yeah, people Yeah, but I mean, two birds with one stone, we get the robbery and we have a laugh with it. Fear? Do you, do you say you want to strike fear? Well, wear a mask of someone who's really scary. Who's the scariest bloke in the world? Well, I, I don't know, Saddam Hussein? I've got three of them. <laughs> well, what, why? I've got, th I've got three of them. Let's all wear Saddam Hussein. It'd be a laugh. Well, it's not, I don't want it to be a laugh. No, I'm but it won't, don't hurt if we're having a laugh and, that's what I want, I want to make money and have a laugh. <laughs> why? That's what, what, well, well, I'm yeah. only in the money, I'm only in it for the well, money. Yeah, but I'm not important to Well, no, it's, we, fear, we, I want to strike fear. We could also make a political point. I don't want to make a political no, point. No, you just want the money. I'm a thug, I'm not, I'm not clever. We could have a laugh and we could make a political point. Why not, what political point? We're not, we're weird, you know, maybe we're sort of stealing from the rich well, and not giving- not like Robin Hood. Well, never mind Robin Hood, let's rob Barclays. That's <laughs> Why are you making jokes? Well, I mean, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> do my stuff. <laughs> you're, so, you're a comedian, you don't- I'm not well, sure you let's should be in this Well, let's just wear the gang. masks. Let's wear the masks. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> did they go and buy them? It's separately, look, look, spread yeah. out. Look, you go to the joke shop in Covent Garden, yeah. I'll go to the one in Southampton Row. Yeah. Brilliant. See, I, cause it's so often the case that they're using masks, it used to be Reagan, Thatcher, they were always a, if I was the guy selling those, like, when three guys came in, three shifty looking blokes to yeah. buy three identical masks. Yeah, in stockings. <laughs> in stockings. Just so <laughs> exactly. they don't know who we are. Sorry, yeah. can I just check, you're not gonna rob Definitely anyone not. with these masks. But just think of the police looking at those robbers. Uh, every time they go past one of those awful sort of gift shops, they think <laughs> that, oh no, it's just a, <laughs> Yeah. It's just in the window there with, uh, <laughs> yeah. with Michael Jackson and, uh, Shirley Bassett. Yeah, and George Bush. Oh, Paolo, can I ask you something? I yeah. know you love knobs and that, and you hate tits. Yeah. What about Shirley Bassett's tits? Oh, well, I mean, I'm a fan of them, because I'm a fan of Shirley, but I don't like them. They're not cool, they're not sexy. Yeah, you're, you're pretty bent. You are pretty bent. <laughs> come good. in. Thanks for Br it. is on in seven hours. Excellent. Yeah, what are you doing yeah. out at this time? No, 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 I just came out to, uh, get some, uh, Nob. milk. <laughs> yeah. Get some, uh, yeah, some cock in the toilet. <laughs> That's a nice song about dead people. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, um, just wondering Rick, what your opinions are, what your thoughts are on. on Britney Spears. Uh, liked a couple. Bit bored. She, oh. I think she's panicking a little bit. I think she's a little bit desperate with all this Madonna stuff. Yeah, all the kind of lesbian Yeah, stuff. I don't know, I don't know. Um, you know, um, yeah, she's alright. I've got nothing against the girl. Well, I read, I think it was in Hot Tickets magazine. Sure. Uh, it's free with Evening Standard. Yeah. Um, oh, I might get some free evening standards now. I've plugged that. Yeah. Um, I, uh, just reading in there that, I don't know if it's still gonna happen, but apparently she was gonna do a little cheeky appearance at G-A-Y. G-A-Y? The, in, uh, in London. And, uh, obviously I was quite excited because I'm a Spears fan. Do you know, sorry, do you know that's what that's about, was, don't you? G-A-Y? Yeah. Gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it is a gay club. Oh, sure, This is on. what, this is what I was ascertaining from the article. Oh, because yeah, so they've yeah, said, yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. said, they've called it what sort of what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, um, and it was apparently she was gonna, she was gonna be, uh, previewing some of her new album live on stage at GAY, and that's an intimate venue. Normally you'd have to see someone like Spears, probably at Wembley Arena, something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm a Spears fan, you know, get up a couple of the gang together. Yeah. <laughs> you know. For the lads. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cruise yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, but then I read on in the article that apparently the doorman at GAY were only gonna let in, uh, um, regulars. And the way they were going to ascertain if you were a regular was by asking a series of questions at the door. What, testing if you're testing really- Now, I don't know if the questions would be about the interior of G-A-Y. Or the interior of <laughs> someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just, just general kind of, uh, like, you do, know. What, what, do you reckon you'd have passed the, uh, Well, that's what so I was wondering. So, you'd, wondering so you'd, you'd have had to pretend to be- G-A-Y. G-A-Y to get yeah. in to see Spears. Now Can that- you say gay on that, the radio? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, uh, but now, I, that's, that's irony, isn't like... it? So you're pretending to be gay to get into a club to mm. see a bird, if yeah. you like. Yeah, yeah, I, well, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little quick test. <laughs> right. Shall I? Um, <laughs> alright. Uh, 
All right, uh, well, sorry, what's your name, mate? Um, Paolo. All right, Paolo. Yeah. Um, you, right, it, you haven't done a lot with your hair, you just sort of let, sort of let it grow out. I mean, yeah. would you be putting product on a bit later? Because, I mean, you don't look very, I mean, sort of like, you don't, you look sort of quite... Quite masculine, quite. Yeah, well, sort of like, like you didn't care, like you have no care no, about no, no, how no. you look, like you're a... I mean, no, well, like, normally it would be shaved. Of course. Oh, okay. Yes. We would say normally that looks about, like, three months growth there. Why haven't you... I've been ill. <laughs> Nothing yeah. serious? Nothing serious. Okay. No, that's why I let it grow. So it's grown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what, what time would you normally be going out then? Paolo? Normally I'd go out about, sort of, uh, I'd go out about eight-ish. Eight? Eight o'clock in the evening no, you've got? No, 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 no. Because no, that I'd sounds go... a bit early, that's what... No, no I'd go out about three in the morning normally. Right, so I was like, yeah, okay, right, so that's through. right, that's right, yeah. Where'd you go, down sort of... Down Old Compton Street Old for Compton a coffee Street. and then yeah. on to <laughs> yeah. GAY like with that. your little shaved head. head. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well you, you, you're doing, you're doing fine. Pretty, okay? Sounding pretty good. Can I just ask you one final question? 20 I'm, bender points? Uh, it's 20 bender points, so I'm just gonna let you in. Okay, I'm just gonna right. tell the guys to let you in, but I'll just one more question. Yeah. Do you prefer knobs or tits, oh. Paolo? Uh, well, uh, knobs. Knobs, you love uh, knobs, do you? Uh, Can't uh, get uh, enough knobs, so you, what, you hate tits, I assume? Loathe them. Loathe you them. hate tits, do you? Yes. Okay. What, even Liza Minnelli's? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I... Yeah, I love hers, but not in a not in a straight not way. In a straight way. In a so way. okay, okay. So you, you love you love knobs more than tits, right? Okay, I okay. Love knobs. In you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, you know, Britney's on, do you? Oh, she is so sexy. Oh, but see, that's what would give me away. Like, I know. Great escape. It's just just the last. Yeah. You just well, you, you're. I, I mean, I think you're probably a bit bi. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. but I mean, go in anyway. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, the drinks are quite expensive. Oh, of course, so. Pop your shirt off, <laughs> will you? <laughs> Long distance on XFM 104.9. Mm -hmm. On the way in, mm -hmm. right, you know those little cars? They look like a little bubble car. They're modern ones. They look like half a car. The Is is that like a smart car? Is that yeah, what they, is look that like, uh, they just look like a uh, like, like a toy car, and you can mm. park them sideways. There's only is there only room for two people? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like the half the, the front of a Volkswagen just cut in half, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, I saw one going up the street, and it's a police car, <laughs> a real police car, right? Really? Yeah, and I mean, I thought, well, th what what happens if they have to chase someone? They couldn't, but I don't think that's the point because it was written on the side. It said something like cleaner something uh more efficient so i think they're making the point that we're cruising around in this car like we're on the beat and yeah. it's using less energy and stuff yeah. but the first thing i thought of right was that those two policemen they must have been going oh that's sarge don't let us have that one can't we have the granada yeah i mean it's uh, so embarrassing i know embarrassing. About, you know police that you know they're doing you know yeah. But you've got to respect them. Yeah, you've of got course. Yeah. Toughs have got uh, to re respect Exactly. Them. I just don't know if you have the, to. Well, get the out. only thing more embarrassing. What if you're really tall and you have to climb out of one and you're a yeah. copper? Are, th are there any policemen out there who have been uh, asked to drive one of these cars? If you're listening, do you think police listen to this? The only thing that would be more embarrassing is if you had to patrol on one of those bikes the goodies used to ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I think that would be <laughs> more pathetic. A pogo stick. Yeah, it's yeah. so embarrassing. Or on roller skates. Yeah. But not like roller blades. Roller yeah. skates, those really old roller skates. Have you seen that you those... Tie, that you tie on your socks. Yeah, have you seen those little bikes that look like clown bikes that the couriers use now? They're about a foot high. They're little I saw one the other day on it. I, my head turned, yeah. But they're really just, bizarre. Just think yeah, they're that. the ones that they, they fold up. Yeah, but think of policemen chasing <laughs> yeah. you on that. Well, I always remember that even in America when I started seeing policemen riding bikes. It didn't seem to me, it seems... Oh, they're quite cool. They're the ones that go through mm. Central Park on the yeah, mountain bikes. Know, yeah, but they're, that's it. really cool, isn't it? They, you know, they, they... It looks like they should be they delivering They whiz along at about though. 30 miles an hour and they can just... <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Because, like, on motorbikes, on a Harley-Davidson or whatever, I'm not messing with a cop. A chips, I mean chips. Now, that's cool, yeah. coppers. Yeah, yeah. But people in a smart car or, uh... You know, know. That's, it is a bit embarrassing. But I suppose it is that or it's better than... Walking, you see. Next, we'll see them in those. Um, if you really want to be uh, kind of worried about the environment, though, you know those uh, little taxis you see that people pedal. <laughs> they pedal around Soho. In those. Yeah, and when it's a, like a, a, a riot squad, there's four in the back. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? If if they need to arrest someone, yeah, here we go. Go on. No, well, what do they do? Because they do only sit 
two, so do they have to flag a cab down or something for the, <laughs> for the criminal? Point. We'll give what you the you money. Do? Get a receipt. <laughs> take you definitely will go there. Yeah. yeah. You definitely will, because we've been caught this way before. <laughs> exactly. The no, last no, bloke, he just ran off. <laughs> no, I won't run off. Okay. okay. Well, I'll tell you what, um, uh, uh, Mr. Police, I'll take your car. Then I'll- Okay, go on then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely yeah. bring it back, though. I will. I will. <laughs> well, you, there, uh, isn't there something in America where when they arrest someone in America, they don't take them back to the station and fill out all the forms, they just take them back to the station and then they go and fill the forms out in a, like, a cafe or something, so they're still looking out. Yeah. Yeah, Carl told me that. They're what? So uh, they're still on patrol, isn't Yeah, they? so they said they're doing all their paperwork, but they're in the, f you know, a, a cafe window and they're looking out. Do you know, like how they say in this country so much police time's wasted by having to go back to the office? And filling out loads of forms. That sounds like some policeman going, yeah, I could get a lot more work done <laughs> yeah, if, if I was, I was in, in a pub. Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of criminals in the pub and, uh, <laughs> if I would, yeah, you know, yeah. and I'll get to keep the receipts. Yeah, I mean, what's safest is if I didn't wear my uniform and yeah. probably got drunk. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. With some mates. Or a lot, a lot happens in, you know, looking out my bedroom window, so if I was just like <laughs> snoozing, <laughs> yeah, I was exactly. snoozing and when I heard a noise, I just popped, oh, look out, <laughs> oi, yeah. come here, come here. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of crime, uh, in Marbella over the next two weeks. <laughs> you want to pay me so to if there's a police over there. minister who has to drive one of those cars, were you annoyed when you saw it? It is went... the most embarrassing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But, uh, let's not forget why, um, why we give gifts. Y well, yeah, just to cheer people up, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's because the wise men gave oh, okay. gifts to the baby Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, that's why. What would you have got the baby Jesus? I'd have probably got him tokens. <laughs> and let him decide, because he's very, you know what I mean, you don't want to get anything, you know, and then he doesn't like you wants to take it back. Well, I'll tell you, in a recent poll Waterstones did, the favourite gift for children was flanimals. Still available? That's so outrageous. <laughs> That's so disgraceful. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. What would you have got him then? Probably what extras on DVD. <laughs> 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 I don't make any money from flanimals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the fact that, uh, one of the wise men turned up with gold. And the other two, frankincense and myrrh, which as I understand it is what, some, it's like incense or something? Incense or perfume? I don't know. I think, I believe that's what it is. But I just love the idea that one of them turned up, they've all got together, they've gone, okay now guys, we're not gonna spend more than fifty quid each this year, alright? Definitely, definitely, definitely not. Definitely not. So what have you all got? Before we go in and see him, what have you all got? Uh, I, uh, I spent a bit more than 50. What are you talking about, man? We just say we weren't spending- we, uh, no, we, we were just gonna have a whip just got him. cheap, like just, a token. No, nah, I got him. Got him some gold. Can't believe it, what? Well, I'm trying to make an impression he's the son of God. I did no, what but is, I, is, we only got Frank- what? I got frankincense. And what did the other fellow get? He got myrrh, and What's I don't it? even know what that is, and I'm a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been- surely one of them must have been furious. Is myrrh still popular? Gold's still very- Popular. Oh, I hope so, because my grand's getting this year. Really? Yeah, lovely. Right, that's, the, that's, why we, that's why we give gifts. Do you know, like, how you got them gifts? Right? Yeah. Little baby Jesus. Yeah. Were they for Christmas or his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I assume that these forms of protest have never made any dent in anything in the world. Because mm. I, I remember um, when, the, uh, when there was all these protests against the war, um, a couple of months back, and uh, there was one guy saw, there was a huge march in London, as you know, and they did these all around the world, didn't they? But there was hundreds, thousands of people in London. There was one guy, he was riding around on a three-wheeled bike, <laughs> wearing a jester's hat, blowing a horn. <laughs> <laughs> that was his form of protest against the was war. Was it like, what sort of horn was it? It was one of those sort of hunting horns. <laughs> 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 when um, he was showing him, he was saying, this is what I believe. Yeah. And if that doesn't change people's opinions, I don't know what will. But I like the idea of Bush, yeah, just about to invade Iraq, and just the news comes through from his chief of staff. And, and, and Bush yeah, George, goes, George, um, What is it? What is it? Well, no, listen, no, seriously, we've got some information coming in from London. Go on. Um, I know you're thinking of Iraq, invading Iraq. Definitely, but, yeah, so, why? Well, well, let's just think about it, because there's a guy on. riding around on a three-wheeled bike. Ah. Oh. He's not got the regular two, he's gone for three wheels. So- Okay, well listen, that's, uh, what's- what's he wearing? I don't want to tell you what he's wearing, he's just- What's he wearing on his head? Just he's just wearing- he's not- I don't- he's wearing a jester's hat. Uh, <laughs> so okay, okay, no, well, well, calm down, calm down, it's not that bad. It's not gonna, uh, not gonna change my opinion about- He's blowing a horn! Okay, get the troops out. <laughs> get the troops out now. <laughs>
But anyway, there's a man, a Serbian man, who um, has invented a machine for women. <laughs> and he's appealing to Western women to test his device. Mm. Um, he's from a town in, as I say, in uh, Serbia. I guess Serbia? I guess that's right. Is that right? Well, I don't know. What does it say? Well, it says a Serbian man, but is it called Serbia? Yeah. Yeah. What was all the Croatia-Serbia thing? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> it does to them. <laughs> Otherwise, they fought for nothing. <laughs> what the hell do we know about world events? I mean, <laughs> how long did that go on for? <laughs> Months, I don't know. It? If, they, if they're inventing new countries, they can't expect me to keep up with <laughs> current <laughs> trends, <laughs> can we? Anyway, this Serbian man has, uh, has invented a sex machine for women, and he can't find any Serbian women to try it out, so he's looking now for Western women. Um, he's taken out a patent on the ultimate machine. Uh, it runs on a 390 volt electric engine, simulates and has a seven and a half inch artificial uh, he said, my machine has an artificial that can make up to 180 moves in a minute. <laughs> now, I don't even know what that means. 180 moves? What? I mean, there's only really- well, in and out, I imagine. Out. It's largely yeah. the function. It, unless what, I've been doing it What he's, what he's done- these months. <laughs> What he's done is he's, he's put a dildo on a Black & Decker. <laughs> A man can only manage the intensity of movement, uh, for about five seconds normally, but this machine can do it for as long as the woman wants. Um, but anyway, so he's looking for a woman who will test this out. But what I love, as soon as I read this, I was thinking, it's just imagining there going, oh, thanks for coming in, yeah, okay. So there's, uh, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna pop out from here, and it's gonna, it's gonna with you. I'm gonna stand behind the machine. <laughs> I got to stand behind here. There's a lot of dials and stuff. I don't want to bore you in. Well, why do you have to stand behind it? Just I can't. It's technical stuff. I got to be behind the machine. But there's no, there's no on the robot at the moment. It's just no, a hole. No, don't worry. <laughs> what happen is, I'll switch the machine on. I'll go behind, and then it will appear. Will it be like a metal looking? It will be a robot, but it will seem like it's a regular fleshy. So you're gonna you, okay, all right. So you're gonna go behind this robot. Go behind the machine. Disappear. Yeah. And then uh, a fleshy looking. This is that will appear uh, through the hole when I switch the machine on. Yeah. Okay, and that'll be, that'll be the real yeah. robot piece. But you won't see me for the duration of. Your so you've 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 made this sort of like robot penis look really realistic. It's really realistic. You will not be able to tell the difference between, say, the robot one and mine, for instance. You okay, well, you I don't want to see yours. No, 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 there's absolutely not because I'm not. I've not come around here to have sex with a person. I know you've come around to test the machine. Yeah, I'm that is exactly what you're going to get. Okay, a well, piece you... of m mechanical. Action. <laughs> But why not? Is the idea that on the front maybe they he's painted a picture of a robot's face? Yeah. And then when when the machine begins, you know, rather like in a, one of those horror houses, like a kind of mansion in a spooky film, the eyes of the painting they'll move and, and the real eyes will appear, realize appear <laughs> just staring out. <laughs> but I I don't think I can have this machine unless you're actually in the room, so just in case anything goes wrong. No. Don't worry, I'll be behind the machine. It'll all be fine. It'll yeah. be safe. Not a problem. <laughs> Something to do in the evening. Something to do, isn't it? When the teddy's broke. But, but for years, like, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? Machines from, like, Roman times that set no. to that setup. No machines in Roman times. Like that, though. The old sort of, uh, knob on a stick machine thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? The it's old that. Roman I knob on a stick. Uh, I'm sorry, but I watch Aqueduct. Time Team every week, and uh, Tony Robinson has never done uh, uh, an old knob on, a, knob on a stick machine. <laughs> I just think that Julius sees us sitting down and go, okay, Aqueduct, we love that. Thanks for that. Straight roads, good idea. We can see the enemy coming. Yeah. What have we got there? Well, I'm glad you've asked. Plumpticus. <laughs> what have we got <laughs> there? W w wanklicus. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 what I've got here <laughs> is a yieldy knob, um, <laughs> and I've, I've put that on the end of a stick. <laughs> oh, well, stick as phallus. Okay, well done, <laughs> yeah. wanklicus. No, no. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You, um, are my new right-hand man, as they say. No, no, no excellent. excellent. But they do, they do do stuff like that. You've been in, uh, the London Museum and that, and they've got sort of stuff from years ago. They've got, like, these metal pants that they used to wear. <laughs> I don't know what that is! <laughs> metal pants! Yeah, sort of Is metal. that a chastity belt, you mean? They used to make women wear them so that they could wear them. No, but they had, they, had, they had them for blokes as well, though. Metal pants for blokes? Yeah, Why? Just, so he had little lots. So if the if they, he was away, he couldn't he couldn't play away from home. And if he was away, she popped on a little. No, I, I just think they sort of like sexy metal pants. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know what you mean. What the are you sexy metal about? pants. Well, they'll have to look because they haven't got it in front of me. It's just something I remember seeing. Some sort of sexy metal pants that I used to wear. <laughs> but what are you saying, sexy metal Come pants? On, well, that was not British be... Museum. That was Soho. No, what, what I mean. <laughs> that was Old Compton Street. You were looking at the shop window. They always had to be ready for like battle and that, but these were a little bit sexy. But protective at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! 
Right, I'll, I'll have to look at it. I love the end that's all you remember from so the last Richard, museum. So Lancelot, are you ready to face the Black Knight? Yeah, just, <laughs> what do you think of these? Huh? What do you think of these? <laughs> well, I don't really care, just, you know. I well, just want to look good on the battlefield. Well, they're you know? both protective. Will there be women watching, cheering us on? Well, you're not going to fight like that, are you? What about all your... your chest? I'm going to wear nothing except these sexy metal pants. But you, what about your chest is exposed? No, I can... Well, it's a good chest, I'll be working out. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is you want to... You want, you want I've metal been, I've actually over. been lifting up the round table <laughs> every week. I just work out, do that about four times a day. But that <laughs> machine, right, why... Did it have to be a woman or could they have got a little gay fella in? There's mm. quite a lot going on in the freak world. There <laughs> uh, <laughs> always is. You've, what, you've been visiting hospitals the last week, have you, when we were away? No, there was a, there was a thing on the, on a website. This isn't even the one that I've picked, so... So this is just a bonus. This is a bonus freak. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Uh, uh, this is a free freak. It's a fella called a lobster man. <laughs> the lobster man, of course. <laughs> Again, good name, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> What are you gonna get? He's some, got... some succulent <laughs> meat. I like the idea. With... That, I like the idea that the vicar on the christening suggested that. <laughs> I know you want to call him Mark. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yes. Look at his head. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Mark Michael uh, Webster. Right. Um. Right. Uh, yeah. Have, have you thought about a nickname? Not really. No. Have you? No, have you looked at his hands? Yeah. It, we, we don't want to talk about that because Do it's, you know they look it's, a little bit like lobsters. Well, yeah, but it's quite deformed. It's a, like, you know, we can't- Can I suggest lobster man? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, Vicar. <laughs> that is terrible, Vicar. We're- Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. Man, <laughs> then. Wow, just be careful. Let's <laughs> have your eye out with that. This is poison. This is poison. These are really, really mental poison drugs. You know those people with the- you ever see them in the street, uh, they're selling fags, duty free, obviously. They're just selling them on the street. You just, have you ever seen these guys? Yeah, I, yeah. I walk yeah. them in Finchley Roadlock because yeah. I'm just near my place. And, uh, all these people, they're just, and they're sort of looking a bit shifty. And then they just, they think that you're maybe a smoker. They just, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, fags. And they'll open their jacket. And it literally will be like something from, you know, the 1940s. They won't go to you, though, do they? Yeah, smoking. They, they know you must have never had a fag in your life. Um, but, you know, I might be buying them as a gift or something because I'm quite a generous guy. <laughs> <laughs> And, <laughs> but it struck me, I was talking with my friend about, you know, there seems to be, there are certain people who are very low, maybe they, they, they have trouble getting work, or maybe they, um, you know, they're, they're immigrants who've not landed on their feet and they've, they, they've had trouble, you know, and so there's a couple of jobs they can do. It seems to there's the fag selling, there's those people I know it's on Oxford Street who bend a piece of wire into the shape of your name. I mean, what kind of a gift is that, really? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. It's like, oh, it's like they're literally giving them out. Or you can, de well, you can have the, the bending the name, you can be selling those things that you throw what? at the wall and they, they sliver down. At Dover? Yeah. What, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, you I'm, doing? A, I'm a, uh, trained carpenter. Right. Can you, can you write really small on a piece of rice? I could try. Could you write those names on a piece of rice? I could try. It's quite tricky, but do you think you could do What about the rest of your family? <laughs> well, that one's only two, but he could be trained. He's got smaller fingers. Okay. Do you want to, um, <laughs> to sell some knocked-off perfume? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we'd like to apologise for any <laughs> inadvertent racism. When I was at, um, university, my best mate was a bloke called uh, Wally, and he was doing, um, psychology and I was doing philosophy and um, we both got into this thing uh, theory called determinism which is about the um, uh, state of the mind and it's a, a materialistic view that um, everything is part of the causal web and everything has a, uh, um, a reaction for something that happened before it and uh, um, uh, by the way Carl do not confuse this with fatalism. <laughs> Determinism is not predictive. It's just that if a brain state happens again, then uh, anyway, uh, the famous Everyone one is uh, yeah. The famous one is um, if you know a butterfly hadn't shaken its wings, Queen Victoria wouldn't have sneezed. Everything's yeah. indiscriminately linked, right? And we're thinking that, right? and we're thinking, what if um, you changed one word in like classic songs or one note in Beethoven Symphony? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. How? It just wouldn't work. Well, I've always thought that, uh, um, come on, baby, light my fire. Yeah. Not as good. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Enigmatic, interesting. Not so good. More pedestrian if it was, come on, baby, light a fire. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just one, just one thing wrong. Yeah. That'd be great. Just, you know, Paul McCartney comes to John and he goes, all right, John, <laughs> written a song. 
Says, well, she was just seventeen, well, you know what I mean. The way she looked was way beyond compare. I wouldn't dance with another. <laughs> Go on. I'll stop you there. What's the matter? Something not quite right with that. I love no. the song. It's great. Yeah. Just once more. For well, us. listen, don't be too harsh. I mean, because we write our own songs. No, sure, 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 we can sure. still put both our John, names to it. I think you're a great it. talent. I think you're a great well, talent. Well, I'm listen, just saying... listen, listen, you hippie. Right? <laughs> Well, um, not yet. Well, not yet, but, sure. I mean, there's a Japanese bird outside looking no, in. No, fancy, I'm not interested. No, no, well, listen, well... Well, I'll never right. change my view. <laughs> right, now, listen, right? I wouldn't dance with another... Is that bit? Is it that bit that you don't like? Is it the... Thing. I just, just like that. Could you try and just... Is there a different well, okay. pitch you could go? I wouldn't dance with another... <laughs> so again. You don't it like doesn't... the... Is I'm it just the noise? not sure the girls are gonna go crazy no. for it when we do that just bit. Think, just, just think of- j Is there anything else you've got? I <laughs> love the idea of just changing one yeah, yeah. lyric. Just have pictures of they won't have NSYNC on the wall. It'd be uh, like sumo wrestlers. Mm. Or, or, um, oh, uh, oh, you know sumo wrestlers. I saw this thing about sumo wrestlers. Um, because the, the, they they're athletes they go into the, this thing because it's a big honour to be a, a two it's actually really? true right yeah absolutely true yeah. so you'd go along and you'd be nine stone and you they they have doctors there so you have to eat to get big right right and this doctor was interviewed so his doctor is going you know it, it is against you'd think it's against the hippocratic oath um but um whereas they do it anyway i do it healthily so he sells them he gives them diets of like uh, you know, ten pounds of rice, wow. nine pounds of fish, and things like that, and they get up. But now, because it's such an honour, it's almost a spiritual thing to be a great sumo and all that. Um, they have apprentices willing to. Now, you know, like when you're an apprentice, say, um, uh, runner or something, you have to make the coffee, and uh, or when you're working an apprentice in the studio, you just have to clean the floor and stuff. Do you know what apprentice sumo's job is? An apprentice sumo. Go on. They wipe mm. the sumo wrestler's ass because they can't reach. They literally can't reach. Rubbish. Uh, right. Uh, can, what, we'll give Who's out the Who's taking now. that up as a profession? I know. I imagine that. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be a sumo wrestler. It's a great honour, and I'd love to work under you. Uh, sure. So, uh, sure. So, uh, what will I do? Start press ups first. There'll be uh, some press ups. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. Will be what, some press -ups? Get into the gym now, and uh, no, yeah. I, I don't. Before you rush go off. Go on. Go on. You I'm look, starving. Look, I can understand that. Go do on. You d would you mind wiping my arse? Because right. I've just can't reach. No. Got no. I can't get the arms back there. Can't okay. get them down there. So, uh, and I'll tell, but, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of this oriental food, it doesn't sit well with me. So it goes straight through me, to be honest. So it's quite messy. It's quite messy down there. It's right. quite runny. Okay. Okay. So be careful. Okay. Um, you know, wear some honor. gloves. If you want to wear gloves, wear I gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an honor. This apprenticeship is two years, isn't it? You know, you're not going to take my feces and salad, are you, as souvenirs or something? No, no, no. I will um, be mainly getting fat myself. Sure. Wiping your ass. Yeah. Great honour. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Well, Great no. honour. If someone could call in and verify that. Look, Carl, look at Carl looking at us like we've just said the worst thing no. ever. Right, I'm 30 now. <laughs> I can only remember being off two times. Oh, his memory's going as well. You'll have to climb <laughs> off. <laughs> and both of them were when I, when I was at school. School? One, What's one, school? One when it was windy. Why did yeah. you have time off? Because it was windy. But to be honest, Carl, that lasted no, no, for wait. seven years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time wait, off wait, at school. Wait. Why did you have time off? Because it was windy. Were you windy, or was it windy outside? No, it was. It was a really. It was like when your when auntie the, wasn't out of the window, was she? Yeah. When the winds were bad in the seventies, and my mum said, "Oh." Was it, whoa, 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 whoa. What? I remember space offers and flares. I don't yeah. remember the winds being bad in the seventies. <laughs> well, my, my mum just said. Uh, you might get blown into the road, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> she had so much faith in you, didn't she? As a human being. Is that why she got fired from the pie shop? <laughs> I'm not coming in today, I might get blown into god, the road. The, oh god. The funny god. thing it was, right, Steve, they, they had this, this thing going at school, because a lot of people used to wag it back then. Right? Used to what? Wag it, sort of not go in. Yeah. Right. Right. And, um,. They sort of tried to make it interesting for you by giving you a an education, a certificate, a right. certificate if you yeah. did a full week Re reward for the rest yeah, of your exactly, life with yeah. achievement. That right. sort of that sort of carrot, and mm. also like let you go home at three o'clock on a Friday, Brilliant. right? If, if you'd done a, like a full week and that. Right? Yeah. Mm. So it was a uh, it was lovely weather all week. Then it just t sort of changed on a Friday, <laughs> and I got up and it was all windy. It was windy said, is for Friday on Saturday, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, don't don't. You know, if you don't want, don't go in because you know you might get blown into the road and that. So I said, all right, then I'll stay off. 
And, um, so why did you uh, <laughs> told you to hold on, hold on to a fence or <laughs> yeah. walk you there? What's this? Don't go <laughs> out. And immediately you, like, give blown. up. I love this getting blown into the road. Is that based on your cats that kept getting blown into the road? Well, so I got to got to school on the Monday, right? And the teacher said, Took right, long time. today, uh, to punish you, you're the only one who wrecked the whole week, right? Everyone else came in, you didn't, so everyone else is going home at three o'clock today, but you're not. Brilliant. Serves you right, and, uh, and I wasn't bothered though, it was great, because I said, well, you'll have to stay with me, won't you? Brilliant. And it was great. So all I did for half an hour was doodle and stuff, it was great that afternoon. Yeah. And that, that was ages ago, that was like when I was about eight. And that's one of the times I was off ill. Yeah. So it was, but that wasn't even ill, that was wind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, right. yeah. So, I'm going off on this estate, and there was a, there was this woman about four houses down, right, who's a bit rough. <laughs> All right? Didn't sound to you. Oh, God, no. Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. She looked like being a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. And I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What but, did she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? Clean, clean up. Tattoos. Looked like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right. But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 so, so wait, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped, or let me get a horse from. What do you mean he must have nicked it? His mum said, "Where'd you get that from?" I bought it. All right then, but <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin rustling. <laughs> Oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just, and how long did he have it for? Insult. Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door, I can't stop! I can't stop it! <laughs> open the patio door as well, I'll be- Looks like we got us a runaway! <laughs> Why do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think- He had to... a horse? Yeah, right, so- That's I'd... why the family didn't have any money, they'd spend it on the horse! No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying, I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway- Yeah, it's so... always to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's They could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh, well, so what? I, so I was like in the car with my dad, coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, oh, yeah. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper, just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This like, is genius! Went... It just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's play a record, story. let's play a record and come back to this, because the story's gonna just wait, unravel wait. and unravel, it's yeah, gonna go for hours, let's play a track, It gets deeper Carl. and deeper, it's yeah, like an on, onion, Carl. isn't it? We've <laughs> created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. When I, I just, come from the West Country, I've never just, heard anything like that. I just think of a big, sort of, like, orange carpet and a, 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 a rediffusion telly and this horse yeah. going, I'm fed up in it. Exactly. This is really... I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, the classic from the first album, uh, I'm Waiting for the Man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pot. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Velvet Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Lou Reed, the Velvet Underground, and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So. We were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and, uh, we got onto, uh, um, We got onto genetically, uh, genetically modified babies, but And somehow then Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got onto, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was... 
Because you live on an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the, yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's so relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but, you, but well, what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand what, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be important. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I never got that close to her. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen the horse? Yeah, from, I don't know where, there was a, I think there was some stables down the road or something. And they, they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they get didn't caught? have it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse No, no, what there. happened was, I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money and they came out with all these ideas and I thought, oh, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget, well I don't know, I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making over it. So, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some, uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And, uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And, uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. <sighs> but I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough. So, as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so, <laughs> they've they been feeding me kitty cat. Yeah. So, I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything, because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay, or in like a house with a central you know, heating, three-piece suite, and sure. a telly and that? Telly <laughs> and that? <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't go to school much because me mum and dad had a caravan. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> no need, is there? No need when you've got that sort of fun at home. Yeah. I used to just go away for weeks. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, honestly. Where'd you used to go? Port Maddock. But <laughs> <laughs> And, um, so you didn't go to school much? No, I, I did, but not as much as everyone else. No. Yeah. How many holidays were your parents having? Oh, what, what, what was their income that they could- No, well, my dad used to work nights, and, uh, he used to travel back, cos to Manchester <laughs> from Wales, it wasn't that far. And Manchester he used to, do, to Wales? He used to do four on and four off, so- <laughs> Me and my mum were like loving it. But what, what's what, what, what Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port Maddock. Just down the road from Port Merion, where they filmed the prisoner. Right. Also, so, so that's that's good out for me. <laughs> yeah, location wise. So what did you do then? You you were in this little two birth caravan on the back of a Cortina estate. Right. Well, what was it? What was the car? I want the uh, what was Granada, it? Granada. Four Granada. Four Granada. What are we talking? Nineteen eighty. Yeah, eighty-two, eighty-three, eight, right? four, eighty-five. Okay, and you in you're in the car down there, da down there, <laughs> park up. Yeah. What was it? What what was Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port, Port Maddock. Maddock. I remember Ruth? It's just, oh yeah. Uh, it's just a holiday camp. Yeah. And at an arcade and a beach. I was I was loving it. Yeah. But, um, so so of the fifty-two weeks of the year, let's assume I don't know how many weeks you take off normally for holidays anyway. Let's just say I don't know. You go to school forty-five weeks of the year, maybe. Generally, most kids. No. A bit less. A bit less than that. Forty-two. How many weeks would you say you actually spent in school? Well, how many weeks do you have off for summer? Well, we just we work that out. That's about what we six off for summer. About four, three for Easter. About three for Christmas. Put it this way, I'm surprised they're not Welsh, to be honest. Right. So there was there more than was in Manchester. Did they not, did the school authority not come and check you no, out? No, they didn't. Didn't get Manchester, I suppose, they didn't care, did they? Not really. Yeah. They're lucky you turned up at all. Why did you just turn up for the last day when you could take in your best toy? <laughs> did you say that when you could take in any I game? Just, just play with everyone else's. Why, why, you know, I break my stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, point. this answers a lot. This does answer a lot. The fact that you spent most of your time on the beach as a kid. Uh, teachers were no good at my school. We were right. talking about it yesterday. About so you were teaching them a lesson by going off <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. And uh, did you go to university? No. 
No, no, no. no. Did you go to sixth form or college? No. When, when did you leave school? When I was about 15. Right. What, you just went on holiday and didn't come back? <laughs> I just got a job early, didn't I? Cause I Where was it? Port Maddock? Getting there. No, I was a printer. BM Ooh. Print in Trafford Park. Have you ever seen, like, a bald pet? No. The, the, it's weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Because my mum, um, we had a cat, we used to get through loads of cats because we lived there. <laughs> oh, God, it's starting early today, isn't it? What do you mean? It's got only ten cats. past Just one. Cause, cause what we are you doing? No, Running a restaurant? We lived there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What do you mean? No, we lived on like a main road. Oh yeah. Right? So yeah. we used to get through a lot of them. And kept there saying, is. You know, stop wasting money. You know, it's it's not. Stop good. wasting money, not wasting yeah. cats. Right. So um, anyway, we had this cat that was ill all the time. Mm. And uh, <laughs> it's just bag of noodles, probably. <laughs> yeah, Emily. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. I'm going to which house? Wrong. Oh God, bloody hell. Wrong. Don't, so, don't let me go to the Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 for some reason, it kept being sick all the time. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that is nice. That's definitely nice. So my mum thought, kind of thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and she yeah. shaved it. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I know, I know you're not vets in your family, but what correlation did your mum think there was between you being sick and shaving it? Because it kept being sick and it was a pain to wash because it kept getting So caught she up. wanted a dry wipe cat. So <laughs> why didn't you just varnish it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's weird, it's weird so, so, now, so now he's cold and sick? No, but do you, no, not, I mean, not all of it, she left sort of the back half, but sort of from, from its waist, sort of- I love that shaving, cos it's sick on itself! Yeah. And, that uh, it was, it was yes. the weirdest looking thing, I mean, no, normally I like cats, I'm always like giving yours a stroke on the head and that. Yeah. But as soon as she did that, it was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Can't touch it, and then- So now it's sick, cold, and hated. Yeah. I love- I- Carl. It must have, I mean, the other cats must have been taking the mick out of it constantly. You're just making things worse. Did it get, I'm hoping that it got run over and was put out of its misery. No, I think it, I think it got all right, that one. Or is that the, <laughs> yeah, it did get run over. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear. How many cats do you say you've got through? I'd say when it, whilst I was living at home, I mean it's, it's still on the increase even though I'm not there. <laughs> so but I, whilst whilst I was there, probably five. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Yeah. And were you upset each time, or you just got used to it? It's it's one of them things, isn't it? Like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like the Elephant Man or whatever. <laughs> yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of oh look at that. Did I tell you the time? When, uh, the doctor said, uh, I was gonna die. Alright, keep talking. Right, ages ago, um, must have been about fifteen, right? And, uh, at lunchtime there was this... We used to have a choice of stuff to do at lunchtime, right? We used to have, um, like a... Like a burger place that had an arcade machine in it, right? So we used to go there and play on that and have a burger. Or... There was this baker's, right, that my mum worked at, and, uh, did great cakes and stuff, right? So, um, she used to, like, bring some home and that, but she couldn't always bring them home every night because, you know, they'd, they'd cost money and she used to get them for free. And they used to say they'd rather chuck them away than give them to the staff because there's a chance that the cream might be off. Right. Right, so they used to chuck them round the back. So I used to go round the back with my mate, and eat a load. Brilliant. Scavenging, yeah. eating out of bins. <laughs> no, it was really, it wasn't out of bins, they were still in trays, but they just stacked them up near the bins, right? So this got out, I mean, it used to be a chocker. Uh, once the school found out, everybody used to go there and it'd be like, well, have a cake. <laughs> the headmaster crawling <laughs> through, <laughs> fighting the kids off. Right, so I'd have, uh, like, you know, you just eat, I don't know, six jam donuts or something, and then you'd spend your dinner money on the arcade machine. Brilliant. Right? So it was a good, good afternoon, really, right? So you do that, and this one day I must have had six or seven uh, jam donuts, a few Congress tarts. Uh, <laughs> What's a Congress tart? Just, I love them. It's me. I can't get them in London, right? So I'd have some of them. <laughs> uh, and, 
if anyone Maybe. can get a Congress car um, for Carl in London, please let him know. So anyway, this day, that, that was just a normal day. Do you know what I mean? You'd once, yeah. twice a week, you'd have a load of cake. In your life, yeah. yeah so a normal anyway. day in your life. Uh, were, were the frog boys there with the, with the <laughs> webbed hands and the big heads? So, and the horse in the city? Uh, yeah. But the day after, one of these days, I had really bad cramp in my belly. Right. Yeah. I was like in agony, could yeah. hardly walk, so I said to my mum, oh. <laughs> You could hardly <laughs> stagger to the free cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I was in absolute agony. I said, I think, I don't like doctors, but you'll have to get a doctor in because I don't know what it is, I can't walk. He gets the doctor around, uh, I won't say his name, but he said, uh, he said, well, doesn't look like he's got long left. Blimey. So I was a bit like, hang on a minute, I've only had a few cream donuts. Yeah. My mum was panicking. Sure. He went, my dad came in from work, she said, oh, something's really bad with Carl, I think it's serious, he's, you know, the doctor said he ain't got long left. So he said, what, he said that and just left? So she said, yeah. So I'll have to call him then. So he called him up, said, uh, what's all this about, you know, Carl hasn't got long left, how long's he got? So he goes, oh, I was only messing. It's just got, it's just had some bad cream. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, the thing is, Carl, I like the fact your mum didn't ask any questions. I know. <laughs> she didn't but she does need to. No, 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 well, can I, you I, explain more, Doctor? No, I got us you off. No, I, uh, but she doesn't. She I, no, doesn't no, like no, I'm, you know, I don't want to diss you or your family, but I imagine if I was there, I'd have known the Doctor was joking. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, 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 I sound very arrogant there, but I imagine he went, what's he been doing? I had about six cream grounds. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Uh, he hasn't got long to live then. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think the Doctor did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love the idea your mum just let him go. Yeah. Terrified, thinking, yeah. well, I'm not going to probe him. He's, he's, that's it then. Dad comes in. Hi, honey, I'm home. Anything happened? Uh, the doctor said Carl's going to die and then left. Go on. Watching a programme yesterday. Uh, and it was about these Japanese snow monkeys. And it was all about how animals learn things that aren't inst instinctive, particularly sort of primates, because they see other people doing it, and they start a culture. And they can pinpoint when these monkeys, when one monkey first went down and got in the hot water springs and stayed there because it was hot, and the others copied them, and now it's, a, it's part of uh, almost a culture. You know, that, that won't be handed on, because it's not instinctive, but has to be learnt each time. And, uh, you know, and uh, they, um, they groom as normal, like other monkeys, right, but they're, they're really intelligent. And, um, obviously, the reason they groom other people, other, other monkeys, is because they eat the mites. But, the, also, the monkeys have learnt they like being groomed, okay? So they showed this one monkey, it went to a deer, Okay, and it was grooming this deer to get its mite off it, right? But then it didn't eat it. It held it in its hand. It went over to a monkey, put the mite on itself to show the monkey had a mite, and got a free grooming. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. That is extraordinary. Because it gave up the food, knowing that if you put one there, this monkey would look for mites on it, yeah. and it would get a free grooming, and it was like having a little massage. What do you think of that? It's not bad, I've got some better stuff coming up later. <laughs> on but, Monkey News. Yeah. On the official yeah, Monkey do, News. Yeah, do you see that, do you see what, do you see what mine though, mine's true. I mean that's an interesting and extraordinary... It actually happens, discovery. it's social behaviour amongst primates. Uh, so I saw it, I saw it, it was, you know... Did it rob a bank, Rick, at any time? It didn't rob a bank and it didn't open a hairdresser's. <laughs> see, that's, that's what you're letting, that's what you're letting yourself it's not, it's not quite good enough, is it, my Monkey News? No, I've got some... See the difference where I, I, I named the species, explained it slightly, told you an interesting fact, mm. as opposed to, there's this monkey, right, and, uh... Look at him looking at you. Yeah, he's not interested, Rick. <laughs> Can I tell you now?